In this lesson, we're going to go through and show you where to find the default domain that Kajabi has assigned for you. And this is a, a domain that can be changed. Uh, it's a free domain that Kajabi automatically gives you, but it can be uh, changed and, and customized if you want to change it to something else. I'll also show you how to connect a custom domain. So let's just say you own successwithmembershipsites.com that we'll be using. So let's go ahead and we'll go down here to the lower left hand corner and we're going to click on settings and this is going to open up the page where you have all the options for all the different settings for your Kajabi. Over here we have uh, a tile for domain we will click on that and here is the domain that Kajabi has given to me. So if we open up a new tab click on and paste that domain in. Let's go see what my site looks like with just what we've done so far. So this is it. That's my site. Um, haven't done anything at all. That's that default template that I installed in the last lesson. Eventually this will be changed and we'll, we'll have this looking like uh, an, an actual site that belongs to me uh, and rather than this default stuff that we're seeing right now. So let's go back. We're going to exit out of that. And then if you want to set up a custom domain, again, this is where you would connect your own domain if you have it. You would go in and click on that. And then here, connect a domain to Kajabi. You would click on this radio button. And then this option is going to walk you through how to change name servers. And let's connect your domain, success with membership sites.com. And we'll click on next. Okay, so now let's go ahead and read through this. Almost done, complete these last four steps. So it already knows automatically that I uh, have purchased this domain name with Namecheap.com. So it's actually giving me all of the directions on what to do at Namecheap and where to redirect the name servers. It's going to tell me what name servers to change and what to change them with. Um, interesting that these are the Kajabi uh, name servers here. So we'll go ahead and we will do that. So I'm going to open up a new tab. And I will go to Namecheap.com. And then we're going to sign in. And here with this phone contact number, it wants me to, uh, it wants to send me a text message with a code that I'm going to use to log in. So I will go ahead and click on proceed with login. Gonna look on my phone here, gave me a code to use. I'll plug that code in. And click on submit security code. Once we're logged into Namecheap, we can then go and find the domain name that you want to use for your Kajabi website. In this case here, successwithmembershipsites.com. We're going to click on manage. And then down here we have name servers. And um, this is where we're going to input the name servers. So we go back here to Kajabi. These two name servers are what we want to add over here under our name server. So we'll go over here and we're going to click on custom DNS. And then we'll go over here and we're going to copy this one. We're going to hit the copy button. So copy the clipboard. We'll go back over to this tab over here and we'll click into name server one. We're going to do a control V to paste it in. And then we're going to go back to the Kajabi tab. And we're going to copy the joyce.ns.cloudfare.com address. And we'll go back to Namecheap. And we're going to go to Name Server 2 and click on that. We'll do a Control V or a Command V if you're on a Mac. And we're going to hit this little check button for save. All right. So now we'll go back here. And we're going to do done verify my domain. We'll see just how long it takes to verify. So 
success with membership sites.com is connecting. So once it's connected, it's going to send me an email and let me know. So here's my default Kajabi domain right here. This is the success with membership sites.com that we are connecting. And then it's also going to set up the www.success with membership sites.com. So that's how you go in there and change your domain and set it up for your custom domain or the domain that you own. If we wanted to change this Sean dash elliot.mykajabi.com, we could click on this pencil and we could edit that and change this to my awesome uh, success membership sites, tutorials.com or whatever. Um, but, uh, right now we're just going to leave that alone and eventually we're going to have this set up, uh, so that we can, um, just go to success with membership sites.com and that'll be our Kajabi site.